Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Yo, what's up, people? <laughs> Welcome to Feature Friday. Today's Friday, and we're checking out some good music from the Philippines. Welcome to, <laughs> welcome to the podcast. Welcome, welcome one more time, another week. You know what's crazy? What number of podcast is this? I don't know. It's like, like 3,000. <laughs> no, actually, it's, I think it's number 80. Oh, really? Number yeah. 80? Way. Way. We're Anyways, getting close to 100. I thought for this week's podcast, yes. actually, I, yeah, this was kind of my idea. It was. <clears throat> Even if it wasn't, I would have claimed it was. <laughs> for comedic and dramatic value. Of course. Um, I I wanted to figure out or find out new music, like new artists. New artists. Yes. But I also love acoustic stuff. You're on a mellow feeling. A bit, yeah. Yeah. I also look like John Lennon today, so I thought, <laughs> why not? <laughs> oh my god! Anyways, enjoy our song. Uh, it's it's a new song. You're gonna like it. Yeah, I hope you do. Yeah. I don't know which one we're choosing. I'm telling you what to feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You better. You <laughs> You're gonna like it. So the, the, the way the idea came out also, by the way, on Sunday, Feature Friday Plus oh Sunday, my God, yes. Inigo Pascual will be joining us on the podcast. Insert and cheer here. Woo! <laughs> yeah, we need like a, we need an icon bing, button. Bing, 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 bing. A, a control like Sam used to have. Yeah, mom, mother was saying that they're actually going to make a remake of it. 
okay, that's kind of weird. But they're going to... No, it's not a remake. It's just like... Uh, like I, I a imagine... reunion. <clears throat> like a re- reboot. Kind of thing. Oh, but they're all older. You know what? I never and liked that. I know about techs. I... <laughs> they have kids and now. And the burdens of running an online show like iCarly. Wow. Yeah. That got real. <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so tune in this Sunday for uh, for Inigo Pascual on Feature Writer Plus. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, Super then, excited for and that. And then the week after that, I can't say. No, you can't. But cannot. someone very cool is joining us. Yes, I'm Actually, really excited. A lot of people are joining us next week. Oh, it's going to be fun. All in one call. It's going to be a party. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's start with this, this themes. Let's do it. This, this special. So this has been really <clears throat> requested, but like crazy, crazy requested. Apparently, these are the kings of acoustic life setting in the Philippines. And I don't really know how to say it, but I think it's MYMP, especially for you on mixed life. This is kind of old, but they're like the kings and queens of acoustics. What can you say about that? So how, how are you supposed to say it? Isn't it MIMP? Oh, right. You mean like the actual pronunciation? Yeah. Oh, see. Yeah, maybe. I'm sure someone I don't know. Will I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I tend to like... Murder names. Yeah, so do I, I do. Know. So Let's give I'm it a sorry watch. about that. M-Y-M-P. So this is... Yeah, so this is especially for you. Cool. Oh, okay. Nice. That melody is awfully familiar. I don't feel like I've ever heard this before. Especially for you. God, it sounds like back in the day. It does. <laughs> but this is in the 80s, 90s. Well, early 2000s, I mean. Woo! Woo! Like this is exactly what we were looking for. Go, John Lennon, feel it. <laughs> I bet this is around 2005, 2006, just based on fashion. I'm gonna turn it up. Kinda, kinda does sound like. You know who would have been a good collaboration with her? Who? <clears throat> I'd love to know her name. You know, she kinda reminds me of a bit like. This doesn't turn up. It does. It's just there's no sound playing. So you can't really tell. Well, it's gonna now, blast. Yeah. Oh, that's that's alright, it's not too bad. Um, you, you know, do you remember that concert we watched of Selena? Selena? Yeah, do you remember like that? Like Quintanilla? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that concert we watched? Yes! It does have that vibe, doesn't it? That type of vocals were very popular. She's obviously from 96, right? 97 when she was popping. 95, I think, was their last performance. 94, 95. Right, so they could, this could be 90s, late 90s. No, I think based on Early her 2000s. dress and the quality of the picture, I'm thinking 2005, 2006. But it, I, it's probably wrong. For some it. reason, it kind of gives me that sort of some rhythmical vibe and stuff. It's like that. the it's, mixing. It's yeah, the it's mixing of the atmosphere. Up. It's it's very it's very live studio type feel like live gig, and I, that's what <clears> I like about mixed live performances. Though they feel very raw in the in the place in the moment. And I like that. It doesn't feel like a studio processed, compressed that's sound. Why Tiny Desk became so popular. That's right. I, I, this is this is along those lines. Well, yeah. Well, they they are M- MYX. They like for example, Mix. we watch uh, MYX. Uh, yeah, live, right? They um, we watch KZ from there. Yeah. And this is the first time we actually got to court some details that we had never been able to catch in other performance live performance settings so they do there's really true magic to it yeah it's really cool Props I really to all like these it. guys in MYX she life. is amazing the vocalist here she's got such sweetness though she's so melodic go on really love it so gentle Easy to listen yeah, to. Yeah, it's dope. She's fantastic. I want to tell you that all the world to me. How I'm certain that love was meant to be. You changed my mind. You showed me the way. She's an original fan. Yeah. It's about cadence. 
So I'd love to know how to, if it's actually Mim. Mim. Mimp. Mimp. Or I think it's M M Y M P. MP, right? That would make sense. I don't know, but yeah, again, I didn't make up their name, so. But that's cool. I like it. I, I think that having that whole um, space of, of, of life acoustics in, in a room is just so magical. Well, I love one, it. This one is an interesting one, right? Because... It's like, uh, I think it's from, recorded from a camera from the two seconds. Yes, thing. so this is like a fan cam right. type thing. They're like live in the moment. So this one's a very interesting, no, not the one we just watched, the one that's coming up next. So this uh, is Nina Someday. Because I guess this is the most like realistic feel. Feel. Except not for sound. Like, yeah, it's the feel. sound tends to be a bit. You know, but because like <clears throat> if you look how a show is recorded with like cameras. And then if you were there, and then you recorded it with your phone, it's so different. So very different. Because you can create an atmosphere and a vibe with cameras and editing. Absolutely. But with the phone, it's just whatever it was in the moment. You're actually capturing the moment. That's right. So, like, for, I, I remember I was in this concert uh, by a small... He's actually a YouTuber. Uh, a, he was a small artist at the time. And uh, he was blowing up at the moment. Uh along the same lines with like Conor Maynard and all these guys that yeah. were, you know, popping up with like covers and stuff like that. And uh, he recorded the thing, the the actual... Uh, event, event, the whole thing, thing yeah. <clears throat> here in London. And um, w- when I looked back at it, I was there. When I looked back at what he posted, I was like, what the... F- that is what? not the same... Where was I? Yeah. <laughs> Did I miss the concert? That place looks... And, and it, it, the place was sick. It had like a bar and it, had, like, it was an inside thing. It was awesome. But in the in there, it looked like we were literally in another planet. And then the vibe of it was so completely different. And I was like, wow, that's so bizarre. And it was good in the moment. But here, it just... It felt different. Like it was a different experience when I watched it back. Yeah, I see. To when I actually was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, uh, this one's like fan camps and stuff. I'm slowly t- falling in love with them. Yeah, me because too. Because it's like you get to know... The, exactly the what it's captured. like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, the only thing I'm a little against this shit, stuff... Though? Yeah, the audio. You really get... You really get no chance to really appreciate the... The, the acoustics of the moment... Um, Sometimes oh, those cameras have good. Mics, yeah, so you mate, never know. Let's give it a go. I, let's see. So, this is Nina Someday Life. Nina, first time, right? Yeah, first time. <laughs> Yeah, hit me with a haste. <laughs> 
<laughs> smoke. that she really like handled i feel like it, this is the type of songs that are a song are sung like this you know pulled back quiet they're they're tastefully done but there there are there are moments there there were moments there vocally that i'm like whoa she she has a lot of power and is just playing with the whole dynamics of the song and i really like she that. probably will shine in a sort of like a power ballad setting you know Ah, oh, but I like that song. That's a beautiful song. Yeah, like, you know, in crescendo, climax moment, time to riff and go crazy. Fine. But it, it, there is something really magical about it. I like, uh, I think a lot of you guys know this. You obviously do. I like this better. It's yeah. just my taste. It, it, this is perfectly what I like. I think it tells a story, regardless of the lyrics or not. Just just the setting itself, the the, the intent in which it's sung, I tells totally a story. Agree. You know, a love letter, but... Someday being, somebody is gonna love me the way you did. Yeah, but yeah. it's a it's a love letter spoken by the author mm -hmm. in an environment where I'm in a cabin and there's light and there's low lighting and and it's just me and my thoughts. It's like it's like when your favorite book, your favorite book is narrated by the by the author. Yeah, that's the I, I, I'm the believe that's the only way I want my books read. Yeah, like like. I don't even want it read by my mum. Like I I want it read by the author and I love my mum. <laughs> I love you, mate. <laughs> Love you, mum. <laughs> she but, has a healthy face. She's like, but <laughs> I want it read by the author. Yes. I don't want it read by anyone else. Not me, not, nah. Author. But haven't you ever got... Audible. Like, Audible needs to get that shit right. <laughs> don't allow anyone to read 
spot their books. Apart if he's a, what's his name? David Attenborough. He can read me anything. <laughs> that is so weird. Yeah, David Attenborough, my mum up to me in the same level. I oh, see. But I'll still like it by the author. <laughs> you know? So oh, they're mommy. like, oh, what? Mommy. how about that? You're right as well, but narrating voice. I tap, you know, I wouldn't go to bed listening to your voice, Dad. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no. no. This guy used to do it. Yes. Yeah. When I was a child. Yeah, no, no. You know, you and I were okay. like, it's like hurting we'll the corner. play music or something to put people to sleep if that's our job. But <laughs> I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't know. I associate mother or like a female voice to that, or David Attenborough's voice. Dude, David Attenborough, you, you know, the, if you don't know who David Attenborough is... Everybody knows who David he, Attenborough he's is. He's ginormous in the UK, actually, he's ginormous worldwide. Everywhere. Yeah, true. But just search him up in case you don't for some reason. It, it will literally just, it will intrigue you about the world in a way that no one else does. I think you, you could fall asleep to his voice, though, because you used to fall asleep when my dad used to watch the national like <laughs> yeah. and i think that's why you correlate the yeah. two yeah mate dad it's not that whether you and i will fall asleep i think if you were trying to talk me to sleep we would both fall asleep <laughs> father and i have a crazy ability of just switching off it's like and time to go to sleep yeah it's like it's like that yeah, yeah. literally how do you do that i don't know i think i learned it from him but even i i don't have the same ability that no no, no my dad is incredible like that's his special just talent It's like, okay, nap. <laughs> <laughs> no setup, no nah, nothing. Nothing, nothing. It could be anywhere, anytime. It's a skill, dude. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell that? Sorry, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Stay Stop it. <laughs> Recording. Anyway, ah, so. Okay. Okay, so we're going to then move on to uh, Regine Velasquez, Till oh. I Met You, Acoustic. I think this was for MTV Philippines, I think. I want. I, I'd like you to cover. You oh, know that come song. On. You know that song. You're about to put me in the spot again. <laughs> Ikao. Is it Ikao? Yeah. The Spanish version. I'd love to hear what people think about this because I think that's a bloody good. Like it, it would be dope. Yes, I, and it's in Spanish. Yeah, it'd be <laughs> easier than. <laughs> see, I wouldn't have to learn Tagalog, any Tagalog. You know? Oh, what if? No, don't get creative. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> come on, because this. You know, the people watching are basically our friends. <laughs> Well, you know, okay. I don't. I don't look. I don't look at you guys like sort of fans or anything. Like just sort of, you know, viewers, people that are, are in We're our home. We're friends in our couch in the living room together. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, and obviously it's for you as well. So if you like the idea, then yeah. It's... My idea was I could do a verse in Tagalog and a verse in Spanish. Of Ikao. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you fucked it, mate. I think everyone's gonna <laughs> love the idea. <laughs> I know I shouldn't have said anything, but let him, let me know if you'd like that. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, it'd be dope. I don't know. I think it'd be yes. a good idea. Okay. So this is Regine Velasquez, Till I Met You, acoustic setting. I think there's only like a guitar or something. Oh, nice. Yeah. She doesn't really need much help, yeah. to be honest. Turn up. But she could literally sing and just click her fingers and I and would And it watch. would be fantastic, yeah. Turn it down because they, there's that thing playing back. That's just part of the video. I never dreamed. Whoa, whoa. Cause I always thought that dreaming was for you. Oh, I love that woman. <laughs> She's awesome. <laughs> Price in happiness right now. And I could swear love is just a game that shows. That's the video, that's not me. Just letting you know. Favorite Regine song. I love it. 
love that. That is a joke. Dude. You cannot see her face. I love the atmosphere. The guitar is mixed brilliantly. That and Ikao, the Spanish version, obviously I'm a bit biased because I love Spanish. But literally, my two favorite things. Oh, I love that this this type of settings I love acoustic. really allow singers like her that are so well versed in technique and like modulation and, 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 and their own technique itself like they, they really allow them to exploit things that you cannot do in like a full-on live performance like details on the diction details on the breath control details on on on, on modulation pullback and 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 that feel the atmosphere that you can create vocally this this settings when you're that good they really amplify yeah. is this what the first you know. time we've heard her like in a true acoustic setting i think it is with nothing else but a guitar That's sick i adore it yo yeah. turn it back a bit turn it back yeah yeah, yeah sure sick. sure sure back to the chorus let's go yeah uh, check up on the way she's sitting as well posture yeah there's no like she's really comfortable because she's leaning forward she's like crouched over she's really literally putting no effort into this this is like huh this is what i do <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens yeah, when i open my mouth props to the guitars absolutely clarity and the, you know sort of not missing in the guitars he's Rough. killing it especially in that environment where one mistake literally oh god it's so amplified yeah, yeah. you're literally gonna hate yourself for years yeah it's gonna be like, this you... lady is murdering this thing and you know one mistake and i could literally shit on this before <laughs> literally isn't it i know fathers are green because like if you play the guitar oh god especially acoustic guitars they're so fiddly dude and the gain on that bloody guitar oh, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, i'm yeah. up to three thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, you know? it is. <laughs> Well, they gotta give it the body, pressure. isn't it? They gotta give it body because it's just him and her. Yeah. There's nothing else. I'd love to oh, know who the guitarist is. That is so was. intimate. I I would love to know who the guitarist do. <laughs> just pointing it out there. Love it. <laughs>
that's just levels to this stuff, man. Once again, Mr. Rick Mercado on guitar. Oh, Rick Mercado. Jesus. Thank you, Rick. Oh, he's here. My God, Rick, Rick. Mercado. It's flawless. Killing it, though. Like, that what guitarist the hell? is literally, virtually flawless. Like, uh, that performance class. You know what's interesting, right? It's when you're a power, you know, as a power vocalist worldwide. Yes. yes. You're going to have to always play to that, right? No, not really. I'm just saying, you always kind of have to play to that, right? I knew, isn't that what you? Because it's it's like it's like being a specialist in martial arts. I was speaking to this in, to mother. It's like when when you're a specialist in, a, in if, even if you're a mixed martial artist and you're especially in a, a specialist in a specific martial arts, those traits will naturally shine anyways. Yeah. You know, and you will accommodate your game according to your strengths. Yes. So when you're a power vocalist, yes, you're not a power vocalist because you want to be. It's because that's what you do. You know, those are kind of what. Everything has a line for you to do that. That's true. Genetics, training, whatever. And the stars. The stars align, right? <laughs> but when, but it's so refreshing when you hear people like Regine play for literally more than half of the song. A, 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 a truly masterpiece of an acoustic setting of, of, of sweetness, soft. Uh, uh, again, I don't, I'm not very technical, hence why you're here. But it, it's, I don't know, it's very refreshing to me to listen to that because I don't I didn't know what to expect mm -hmm. and then when the climax came it turned you know it turned into a, a very Reginesque performance but combined with the unexpected uh, uh, beginning mm -hmm. it's a uh, it's an amazing experience I think so too I I I think the 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 combination of of uh, sweetness and the modulation at the beginning that play that that teasing of what's to come and obviously a big climax that is also it's big enough for the song but it doesn't overpower the whole work that you have been doing up to that point as a as a as an audience as a part of the of the members of the audience you you feel like it's the right the right explosion of emotion and it doesn't feel out of place like oh here comes the belt no it just felt like escalated right you know, and I, and 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 it de-escalated really nicely too. So and, and that's when you feel um, the song is really well structured, because sometimes you get songs that start really soft, get a big belt, big climax, and then they kind of try to go back to that softness, and they never quite get it, because the songs don't fit the whole structure. But in in, in this case. It was just a natural flow of the song. Um, we look at it in musical theater as an emotional journey. So it's it, it, it begins it begins with a with a thought and it develops and it and it changes it evolves it climaxes and it concludes, and 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 that's what a a a an emotional piece piece should be like. So it, it's it's really it's really gratifying when you when you listen to it uh, done correctly because mm. it, it 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 fulfills it, its purpose. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of like you know like those type of like a triple key changes, triple <laughs> yeah. key changes. I've never really been a fan of that stuff, but it, it's obviously when it's well made, it's enjoyable, right? We've seen it plenty on the channel when it's really well made. It's a really cool experience because I just feel like. And maybe again, correct me if I'm wrong, but when you do, when you have like a climax, right, or a key change, you've broken a barrier. Yes. Right. So you can't go down to the previous previous, previous hard barrier. Yeah. Even if you come down, you're now at this barrier because you broke through this one. This one's yeah, now yeah. broken. So you can't go back down to this one. So even if you try to lower down the the atmosphere or create another emotion, it's not too. the one that's accessible here anymore. It's only the ones that are here and above that's right that's why so but then it becomes like oh god where the hell are we going you know what i that's mean that's right so it, it, it's, it's it's interestingly made right because you have three key changes or two, two 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 and but then it does come down really nicely i i i think again props to rick the guitarist because class my god that i think was, that definitely helped that was fantastic what a what a great freaking performance okay so moving on uh we got 
Ben and Ben. Oh, nice. And this is an acoustic performance at Rappler. So in Rappler Studios. And it's been super requested. And I think we're gonna love it. It's Kazang Isip. Yep. It's frozen. Oh. Maybe um, not. It's an ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love those guys. I love them. Or maybe Katang Isip. I think it's Katang Isip. Yeah. In Spanish, TH, we also, it's just mute, the H. I don't know if in Tagalog. Oh, I love that they have violins. I love that they have percussionists. Oh, come on! Watch it again. They're literally jamming, just having a good time. Turn on the screen. Thanks. Here we go, lads.
together and they, they really achieve a lot even in moments where they're not doing much that is freaking fantastic class that gotta, was just we mad. gotta watch the volume because of the gain in the mic oh i'm so sorry yeah I, I didn't mean to like blast anyone's ear i mean i hope no one's been blasted it's just crazy though that was freaking mad the the magic in the atmosphere i don't know what is it about them but they've got this are they family cohesive harmony thing when they play that is just it, it really like moves you to another atmosphere completely it's like they're created their own little ecosystem and you're just you're somehow part of it yeah they're, and they're a band of moments they, they create are. moments and is the details is is the is is the arrangements is the growths and 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 the uh, you know um the dynamics and i really like their their vocal texture as well like they're very soft and they're very uh yet powerful but super melodic and i think that comes from playing the guitar and singing at the same time it, it usually amplifies uh the melodics and in, in, right. in the singer uh, they're able to find harmonies way easier and I mean harmonies not in the vocal sense of it but like in, in the melodic sense of, right. of singing right it, people that play instruments find it way easier they swim through melodies they don't think of notes you okay. know because they play right, I see. you feel me um, but yeah, yeah it's and, it, and it's oh I, I love that they have violins as, as well because it brings it, it yeah, adds just have one, right? yeah but it adds so much and it's little moments it's little details they they are a band of detail and i feel like they shine way more on live settings that they do on a, on on a studio even though i love their record stuff because i have downloaded so many of their stuff since we started watching them on the channel i i have a lot of their albums on on my phone but um oh i I think there's a completely different experience when you see them live like this. It's, it's freaking cool. Yeah, there's definitely things you can't catch in a studio, you know. But yeah, I just think they they they're they're a band of moments. They really create. They 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 have really made these uh, through rehearsals and really um, uh, uh, dialing they, down on details and and practice together and getting to know each other. How to create you know moments I, I, they they are the pinnacle of less is more well yeah they, they definitely embody that principle I yeah. Think, yeah 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 because everybody's doing exactly the right amount of everything yeah you respect so, each other sound. yeah it's it's very like you can pick out each instrument and that is something that doesn't happen often Not in, in a, band a band that size no, no no it's fantastic what it's a cool close. band I well, love that this is uh, oh Nadal what is that Kichinadal. This is a uh, something new for us. I, I think it's a soloist, and uh, this is same ground. Same ground, yeah. Yep. Go on. Kichinadal. 
you to sing. That's the whole name of the band. I think that's the name Lower of the down, girl, the yeah. Lower it down. That's it. Just because of the game. That's fine, that's fine. I like her guitar. Said, dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's Alanis. also from the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You do know. You do know what Alanis Morissette because we. Alanis. Listen, yeah, we listen to her a lot here at home. Yeah, Dad likes her a lot. Yeah. Father, is it is it you, Father, that likes her, or is it my other father? <laughs> you have another father. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you have another father, Mom. Uh, you guys such are a, explaining to me. That's such a mean joke. Anyways, but yeah, it was Alanis Morissette, is it? Yeah. What is that song you listen to a lot? There are so that. many. Ironic. Ironic is because Valeska sings that in her gig. She has a cover. Oh, yeah? And I, and I play you play it. Why does it go? Because it, it does remind me a lot of this, like, 90s... Uh, it, wh wh when is Alanis Morissette no from? No man turn 98 You ain't got a lottery mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then that's mm -hmm. All you need is a man mm -hmm. It's it's really cool, no? Doesn't doesn't ring a bell? They said ten thousand hours and ten thousand more. Is that that one? No. But <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind. Moving I think on. I'm like Justin Bieber actually. Uh, but yeah, I can, she can. <laughs> I was taking the mic. <laughs> yeah, my um, I was saying that she has the, she has certain twangs in in her in, in the way that she pronounces certain vowels. They remind me a, a lot. Right? Yeah, a, a, a little bit of that. Come on, let's keep listening. What a hard name, right? For a brand, Kronos, a, a piano brand. <laughs> I was like, the what? Titan, the Greek Titan, Kronos. What a hard ass name. Anyways, go on. <laughs> Orthodox. 
Well, I was going to say, it's interesting, isn't it? When you see a... It is, it is. It's like yeah, D, it's G, yeah. A, type of, of chords. I, I actually also reminds me a little bit of Natalie and Brulia. Like, it, the same type of, like, feel of, like, early 2000s. Uh, yeah, yeah, early please, 2000s. Please don't get us uh, wrecked with copyright. Thanks. Early two thousands um, uh, ballads that that were popping like alternative ballads that were popping at the time. I it, it has the same feel it and it's so easy to listen to that type She's of music. Awesome. Actually, that Fantastic. band is awesome. The, the guy in the guitar was murdering that. That was amazing. Interesting, the drummer. Yeah. You, very rarely do you see that nowadays. Someone who likes to play uh, unorthodox to the right. Yeah. You know, you rarely see that where you put the hi hat opposite instead of cross. Because what you see is people play unorthodox this way. Yeah. Plus you have the hi hat here, you have the, the the snare here, but he likes to play this way. That's crazy. <laughs> That's not crazy. Think about it. It's actually more comfy. You have way more space. I see. You know, but it's just preference. But it's really peculiar to see someone like that. It's just fun. It's nice. All right. So moving on, we got Jimmy Bondock, and let me be the one. On mix life. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. She was mix, or is it M? You know, M it is mix. Somebody, re somebody corrected me. Apologies, then I said it wrong. Yeah, yes. Jimmy Bondock. <laughs> we like a piano with piano feel. If you could only see me now, I managed to fly again somehow. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> the choice between love and career. He's the one playing the piano. Yeah, it's just him. The choice between courage and fear is never easy. Peculiar. I still wish you were near me. your name Walucha <laughs> it's fine never mind I'll, I'll show you later who Jeff Buckley is but really alternative progressive who am uh, I? core progressions it's very experimental and I really like it that's the type of music I like moving on <laughs> <laughs> stop I can feel that I can feel a comment you can feel a joke I can feel coming up. Up. I don't I don't need it I'm enjoying this imagine no <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Oh, they also like the color purple. Somebody told me you were leaving. I didn't know. In the court, Somebody told me you're unhappy. But it, it doesn't show How cool he is, he's so cool Somebody told me that you don't want me no more So you're walking out the door Nobody told me you'd be crying every night Nobody told me you'd been dying 
to fight Nobody told me that you You fell out of love for me That iconic mix so of Mix mix Set me free I adore it! This is my cup of tea Let me Be the one to break it up So you won't have to make Excuse. We don't need to fight a set up where someone wins and someone loses. We just have to say our love was true, but wow. it's now become a lie. Oh, I love it! Yes! <laughs> so I'm telling you I love you one last time. And goodbye. We're interested in this guy. Oh, yeah. He's experimental enough oh, to be a cover so tea, right? freaking amazing. But he enjoys a lot of experimental uh, music sounds. Yes. Somebody told me you still love me. I don't know why. I also like the twanginess in your voice. That you only need a time to. Somebody told me that you want to, want to come back when our love is real again. It's fantastic. Let me be the one to break it up so you won't have to make excuses. We don't need to find a setup where someone wins and someone loses. We just have to say. Why do I still 
love you. He's an interesting oh. performance. Mm-hmm. He's a he's a like he's a weird experience. It is. It is because he's like kind of poppy, but he isn't. And then he's like experimental, but he isn't. And the chords are odd, but they're not. Yeah. I... And he's like he catches notes, but then he doesn't. And he does falsettos perfectly, but also has his own like uh, personality to his uh, riffs. It's like, what the... F- it's such an experience. And it he is. makes seven minutes feel like he's two. I, I didn't even feel like that was seven minutes. That is so such an experience. feel like seven minutes. Best way to describe it is ex- he, he his experience. He when he was born. He sang. He sang when he was born. <laughs> the, the second he came into this world, he was like, I'm going to sing to you. It's a good observation. It is. <laughs> and no, you know what I, I like? like? La, 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 you know? <laughs> It's like, yes. I, you know what I really like, though? The, the hint of tiredness... In his in, in in his natural twang, that the is so well, right? captivating. Though, like I feel like that's just that's just the natural way for him to sing. I, I I I feel like that's just his trademark sound. But there is such a enticing thing when you hear that natural croak and 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 that tiredness and the twanginess in his natural voice was really peculiar, but didn't give the edge of an annoying because. It's so melodic. What what a weird combo yeah, twang, though. Twang has that uh, kind of like downside, right? If it's too much twang, it, you get a bit it, like it, it becomes iri- it, it, it becomes a little irritating. Irritating to listen to, and, and and yeah, it's hard to carry through through it. But he has that mixture of melody with nice basses and peculiar runs and those melodics. Though my God, that he was nice. running through that piano like. That was his pathway, you know, like that. What that was fantastic. Yeah, he was skating through notes. It, was it very, really was. It's very odd performance. Like it is an experience, and I have. I I I adore that. I I'm totally gonna binge a lot of videos. What was his name again? Uh, I couldn't even. I couldn't even I think of. Even think, um, Jimmy, Jimmy Bondoc. Bondoc. Oh, even his name is peculiar. Yeah. He even has Jimmy like Bondoc. an arts name. It's like, very artsy. <laughs> what? You know, there there is a there. I once went to like a uh, poetry reciting once with my friends in London. Nice. Uh, it was like an underground uh, theater. Um, it's off West End, so it's not in the West End. So it's off West End. Is that a place near the National Gallery? No. You have to go on an elevator. Or something. No, 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 no. This is like. Oh, sorry. This that's is just like... the entrance to the MI six. <laughs> Revealing the secrets of the country. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it, it's. Uh, so James Bond lives. Uh, it's 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 like an old building, so it's like it's off the West End, uh, but the theater is underground. So Sick. so you have to like go through these really ancient looking stairs, and oh. it's really narrow. And when you go down, it's like this huge, uh, like theater on the bottom. And I went to this poetry reciting with my friends and it was like a cabaret setting. So each table had a group of people. Um, and the, we went to watch uh, some people talking uh, monologues and, and poetry and stuff. But the band in the in-between, like the, the people that were playing music, was so experimental and so stimulating. And like everything felt so inspired. Like the feel, the atmosphere in that in that place could have fitted into this so easily. Like, that was the type of atmosphere all around. Yeah, it like makes you think. Like, singer-songwriter, everything. You're like, so, do I like this? It's so do I enlightening. understand it? You know? No, you just feel, like, it's weird to explain, but you just feel like, like the muse is in the place, you know? Like, it, everybody's inspired. It's like crazy. It's so yep. weird. It's, it's like so you're under cool. a weird spell for, it a, is. for a little bit. It's dope. If if you haven't done that, you should totally go. Yeah, if La- you're artsy like that. Yeah, one of the cool <laughs> things about London is that it has so many like hidden gems. Literally, for people that have lived in London for their whole lives. Yeah, if if you're it not still from has London, gems. Yeah, if you're not if you haven't lived in London, you wouldn't know about those places unless you hang around with people that have lived in London all for their a lives. While. Yeah. That's the other thing. Like that's what I, I was I was actually speaking to this to my mother the other day. It's like 
The weird thing about London is, it doesn't matter how long you're here, that you can get like five different types of London. <laughs> That's so true. Like, the you tourist can get London. The tourist London, yeah. which is fun even for non tourists. Which is fantastic. You can get the city London, right? Which, which is, is the where people you work that commute there and, and commute work there. and yeah. And then they, they kind of know the bars, you know, the best roof, the bars. The places, uh, yes. You can get underground London, which is not just the tube, it's underground scene of London, which is yeah. poetry, a, a cinem- old cinemas. It's like, it's like, you gotta go through niches though. Like, if you like to drink certain type of beer, beer you, you got really cool Spots. pops and places that do that stuff. Or if you're really artsy, you're really into painting and galleries. Oh, There's mate. tons of galleries and painting and places to like... If you're create. into sculpting. Oh my in- God, if you're into pottery, yeah. like there is so... Photography. photography is another one just photography galleries alone yeah, and then yeah. there's theater london which is musicals and plays and stuff but that's like the big out like the big outlook which is the west end yep. anything that's on the west end is top notch is amazing and it's big but productions you get kind of advertisements you kind of see it's this big stuff. production it's yeah. big time but then there's off west end productions that are freaking experimental they're different the, it's the is the true spirit of art london like yeah, so the it, artsy london to the pure core these are the shows that put like leaflets no. in like corner shops literally you know, you're yeah. like oh fuck or it's like, a five all, quid to enter you're like yeah i'm gonna go no and only the people that know about certain companies or dance companies or or people that do uh free monologues or like uh, people that are in the industry would kind of know, you yeah. know. You have then you have the like the dance scene, which is ginormous, right? Yeah. In London, it could get it could go. You could go like more formal, like ballet and all that stuff. And but then, then there's you... also the street and commercial oh side of it. Oh my god! Which is just as popular. It's dope. Clubbing London is scene awesome. is a joke. Yeah. Like, you won't never get bored of London. No. So, anyways, but yeah. Sorry yeah. about that. That was a little randy. Just it just it, reminded me it's of that. Just fun, <laughs> like, it is. At, at the city is a joke. It does. I'm telling you, he would have fitted perfectly into those intervals because, uh, like, the bands that we were watching, uh, like, there was this one guy who was sitting in the audience and he asked the, 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 the coordinator of the event, do, do you mind if I just jump on the piano and, and sing a few songs that I have? And he's like, yeah, go ahead for it. Do it. It's fine. And I'm telling you, something crazy came out of that man. He was like... And it's it, it all fits it so perfectly to the atmosphere. It was so cool. Well, so places. The, the next uh, the next uh, person we've got on the list. It, also it, very requested. Yeah, very requested. And he, I don't I actually don't know anything about him yet. Me neither. We don't know anything about him. Uh, all we know is that you guys think we're gonna enjoy his music, and uh, since you seem to know our taste and stuff like that, um, and his name is James Reed, mm-hmm. and uh, this is in the Soda Wish Bus. Life. Called them um, Soda. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I think it is like a band and it is acoustic, so that's why I thought it was time to put it in here um, instead of Future Friday Extra. One of the things is very difficult to do every sort of request because uh, yeah, it's just hard. But uh, there are good news is obviously we post videos throughout the week, um, so do keep putting your requests. We will check them out all. So absolutely, anyway, so. absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the freshest. The freshest, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how cool. Oh, I'm liking it already, though. 1975. It's funky. Old 1975. I know. Oh, what an aesthetic. 1075. I like it. I like it. Let's go again. Like Play it. from the beginning, brother. What uh, the hell? His class. Bitch. Oh, I'm obsessed. It's not acoustic. Well, I would call it a wild card or whatever. I don't know. Just good music. Well, we also had Ben and Ben was a band. True. It was an acoustic setting. Wish. 107.5. Who are you? Oh, in love. I don't know what to do. 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 I don't know 
Espera. Why you wanna fight it? How can we know if we don't go? Yeah. Don't stop moving. It's not a straight line. It's all part of the ride. Can we take time to lose the stars in your eyes? We can stay high or we can fall. Your mind is very popular with the ladies. Just ride. Nationals. This is what it's like. Oh my this god, can, can we get a James Reed and this one back collaboration? No, no, no. I want the free nationals. Yeah, the whole thing. I want and this one pack free nationals and I want James Reed with his band. You know what's all in a one dream show. collaboration that we've always wanted and it's actually happening? What? And this one pack and Bruno Mars. Shut it's up. It's actually happening. Really? Yes. That's class. Freaking wild. Well, my next Never one mind. is now James Reed, free nationals. Well, his band, Free Nationals, and Anderson Pack as a I feature. I love this dude, freaking Tell me insane. Mama. Oh, can you imagine oh, that? Oh my god! Who is he? What, where can I How old is James Reed? Music, like what the hell is I, happening well, I gotta, here? I gotta know about he's his. He's amazing. He's amazing. I love that dude. How James, dope was that? Yes, yeah, so you guys weren't wrong. It is spot on. What we like, spot on. James Reed. Freaking hell. It's very popular. Ooh. He oh, he's your age. He's twenty five. How old are you? <laughs> twenty five. He's not your age. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? He's twenty six. Oh, okay. He's Filipino Australian. Oh, how cool! Uh, nice. Actor, dancer, model, actor. astronaut, record producer, <laughs> chef, record label executive. Fuck, you know he does everything. <laughs> I do it all. <laughs> he's also a merman. He can also breathe underwater. <laughs> Um, he, uh, how, yeah, I just wanted to find out how old he was. I found it. Who's he signed with? Oh, he signed with his own label. That's Reed, dope. Read Entertainment. Let's go. Well done, dude. I'm a fan. Let's fucking keep watching. This is brilliant. Oh, cool. Bring that back, please. Ah! Uh -huh. 
thank you, dog. Happy birthday, Steph. Happy birthday, Steph. Fearless. Oh, he's a boss and a half. Oh, no. Shut the front door, y'all. What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. Bro, wait, wait. Play, play that from the beginning. Play, play, play back, play back, play back from play back. Just, just, just play back. That arrangement is class. I thought he had come off. I was like, what the? Oh, no, it's just freaking off. Thank you so much, Wish. Shut up, man. Thank you. Obsessed, obsessed. Thank Happy you, birthday, Jamie. Steph. Freaking hell. Wish closer. Shut the front door. Where can I buy tickets? Bro. Get me a play ticket. I'm going to see that man <laughs> playing live. Right now. Oh, my God. I don't care Add about the COVID to... restrictions. What the hell? Add him that to the amazing. list. Yeah, we got to watch him live. I, I His wanna... band is like freaking spot on. And why is it so easy for him to be a star? Like That guy is just a star. Like, why is he chilling? Like, he was chilling. We're not tripping. You heard that, mom. Then you asked for yeah. sick. Sick, right? That is awesome. In hell. Put it, put it from the beginning. <laughs> put it lower. Just put it lower so stop. we can speak. Yeah, put it from the beginning. No, stop. Why not, man? <laughs> outrageous. Oh my God! <laughs> I can't. This oh, is too much. Man. This it's guy is joke. too much. That's class. Freaking man. amazing. I think that's one of my favorite videos we have ever played. That is because he's so <laughs> unexpected. So good. <laughs> that is so. I would have never expected that voice from him. I would have never expected those arrangements from that type of music. Because yeah. it could have been so easily a pop song, but it's not. It's something totally. It's. I don't know. I just freaking adore it. Yeah, I want to know more oh about him, please. God. If you have any more music, uh, I'd love to check it out. Uh, Me too. What the hell? The heat is class. That was insanity. Insanity. Like they, they say, in, in my opinion, this is one of my favorite Wish performances. You know what I, I love the most? Watched. You know what I love the most? What? Self-produced, self-made, freaking all well, in he house. He was signed before to other labels, but I, I'm very happy that he is kind of where he's now. Moving it forward, seems. Oh, I'd love to know his story if anyone knows, or maybe interviews and stuff. But I'd love to check it out. A lot of people, what you guys oh, genuinely <clears throat> really requested him, so it's very interesting, right? I mean, obviously, and now his music's freaking sick. What so, a way to finish this freaking playlist! It's class. I mean, that's like wild. Oh, uh, again, I, I think <clears throat> yeah, I he was saying that. like, "Thank you, wish." Nah, man, thank you, James. That's thank class. You for making freaking amazing music. And everyone music. deserves credit in that. Like everyone does that. <clears throat> that drummer style, it's that so bass, clean. That bass, freaking slapping it when he needed to be. The guitar guy was so tight, like so freak, and and you got the keyboard, the keyboard, and and Seriously, he's singing. Keep playing like, it. Just lower the volume. I wanna keep listening to it what? while we talk. I kid you not. It's, it's just such a bloody vibe. I cannot. I cannot. Here, y'all. Thank you so much for a wonderful time. It was time. an outro and everything, like. This was amazing. You guys killed it with your freaking suggestions. This guy just murdered the outro for us. <laughs> this is it. We got it. Um, I got my, no oh, words. My official merchandise is now out. Yes, go click it. on the link below. Matter of fact, if you scroll down, you can see sort of the, the store, a preview of the store, uh, thanks to YouTube. Um, yeah, what else? so get Saturday, your merchandise. Sat uh, sorry, Sunday, Inigo Pascual is coming on the podcast. Yep. Uh, Future Friday Plus, and uh, yeah, do do let us know what you thought about it. If we want to try and find as many new artists. That's what the whole podcast is about. Experiences like this. It's really not. It's hard not to be like excited, but it yeah. is. It is so like uh, it's amazing. Just just from the Filipino industry alone, there's yep. so much music. There's so much talent, and it seems like a never-ending goldmine yeah, of of talent and enjoyment and experience. You know, it, it's really bizarre. That was fantastic. You well, freaking killed it. Again, thanks for listening for so long. Tune in on Sunday and peace. Bye-bye. <laughs>